welcome to another edition of Mining Now, and, and we're live from the CIM convention, the trade show floor, and I'm speaking today with John, Jonathan Levesque, who is the Deputy General Manager of Propulsa Innovations. Welcome to the show, Jonathan. Thank you very much, Ray. And I always like to learn a little bit about people. Uh, people are the, you know, are the most interesting part of any industry. And so tell us a bit about your journey and how you ended up with this innovative company. Well, Propulsa Innovations. I was going to say it's an innovative company. It, yes, it is. The name is Innovations. So how did you end up at Propulsa? So just a little background story. Uh, Propulsa Innovation is a small company out of Saguenay in Quebec. Um, I'm born and raised in Saguenay. Oh, okay. uh, I just yeah. left from Montreal to get my degree as a mechanical engineering. And uh, then I came back and worked for an international company. So we were doing neutron absorbers for the nuclear market. Okay. And yeah. during COVID, it was uh, time for me to change um, and come back to a smaller company where, where I could have uh, a greater impact. So that's when I, I joined uh, Propulsa three years ago. So we are a small company. We are seven employees, all working out of Shikutsumi and doing business now through Canada and uh, expanding in the world. So. And this is, I've, I'm a guest host here, so I, I do a few shows. And, and I always enjoy talking with people that are entrepreneurs and that are taking a unique idea and making it happen. And that's your company story. Now, I, we'll, we'll get to that in a minute. But... Uh, uh, the we're going to talk about air filtration, and I was reading about the company, and my experience. Uh, I'm underground. My experience is underground. I've done some open pit work, but air filtration for me, when I think about it, is mechanical. Same as in your car, the air filter in your car, or in a pit, dust control. That's water or chemicals. This is very interesting. What you guys are doing, because it's something completely different. That's my segue to Ipura. So tell us about this revolutionary product. It, it'll be a pleasure. So I will start by explaining uh, what the entrepreneur was uh, behind Ipura. So okay. Denis Dumais and his son Jean-Benoît Dumais uh, have a wide experience in dust management controls. So Denis is an expert in the dust collectors for mainly aluminum smelters application. So he was actually at the very important company in our region, which is Rio Tinto. He was uh, oversighting the ships, the bauxite ships being unloaded. Uh, so the ships come from Brazil and gets unloaded at the port application. And he saw that the small excavators that are digging inside of the ships to get the material in the center oh, to okay. be unloaded yeah. were, were constantly removed from the ships. So every four hours, they had to get removed from the ships to get the hail filters changed. So on the engine and on the cabin. Really? So yeah, basically okay. everything was clogged. So Dennis says, I'm pretty sure I can come up to something that will resolve that issue that the industry doesn't know to have because they've always been changing filters for 100 years or more. So he came with a Pura. So he says, if the filter gets super efficient and can get cleaned by itself, it will solve that problem and bring a lot more of, of efficiency. So he started to think about Impura. So he says, I absolutely want to get the finest dust out of the engine and out of the operator cabins. And I want it to be eternal. So we invented Ipura, developed it during three years, and installed the first system in that application five years ago. And they've been running on the same filter ever since. So they, they went from four hours to five years and counting. Let's talk about our heavy industry world tour brought to you by Savannah Equipment, supplying mining equipment worldwide. And Corporate Traveler Canada, helping companies travel the globe simpler, faster, easier. We are heading to events across North America and Australia and filming episodes on location. Email us at info at crownsman.com to be part of Crownsman's Heavy Industry World Tour. Does your mine plan keep up with changes on site? When it comes to managing a mine, you never know what's around the corner. When conditions change and you need answers yesterday, don't get held back by your scheduling software. With Micromine Elastri, you can explore a broader range of scenarios, rapidly test options, and slash your waiting times. Account for more in your mine plan and be ready with the right answers when questions arise. It's time your software matched the pace of your site's demands. Visit micromine.com forward slash Elastri to learn more. 
Capital Limited are a leading global mining services provider with expertise across the entire mining value chain. Their end-to-end -end services include exploration and production drilling, in-surface and underground operations, load and haul, as well as assay laboratories. For 20 years, they have delivered best-in-class safety performance, professionalism, and reliability to customers worldwide. Capital have recently expanded into the Americas, where they continue to deliver the highest standards of excellence in mining services. Learn more at capdrill.com. Um, yeah. <laughs> so really, like a, a complete uh, reframing the whole concept of filtration. And, it, and that's very interesting, looking at a problem and identifying a solution. But, but the solution ends up being more widespread than that. And I like your comment there. Uh, if you have a self-cleaning filter, then a lot of things are easier. Oh, yes, totally. Yeah. So that all sounds good. But how does it work? And I know a little bit about this, so I'm, 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 I'm prompting you because I, I find it very interesting. That is the neat part of that system. So the other, let's say, self-cleaning filtration system on the market, they all use mainly um, pressurized air. So it requires a lot of energy, uh, dryers and that kind of things. So when Dennis came with Epura, he wanted to get something that requires very low or very little energy. So he says probably that if there's a movement of a membrane or something that can shake the filter, create a back pulse with very low energy, that might work. So you went to home hardware and bought a reciprocating oh. saw. <laughs> home so hardware, yeah. <laughs> the saw was doing that action, so he says, that works, so let's get that patented. So he was driving to Quebec City to get it patented, very happy, listening to music very loud. <laughs> and that's when that is that the subwoofer in his truck door was shaking his pants. Oh yeah. <laughs> he says, Turned around, came back, bought a bunch of Did subwoofers. Did he have some dust on the woofer? Is that <laughs> no. Maybe. <laughs> Dennis has always very clean trucks. So. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but he saw that the pens were shaking. So he said, that's the spirit. So now the Pura works with only 24 volts. That comes from the battery, from the mobile equipment. And that's it. <laughs> so now I got a very important question. What music was he listening to? Do you know? <laughs> he says it's Black Sabbath. Oh, geez. <laughs> so very loud. Probably crazy yeah. train or something like this. Yeah. Par <laughs> paranoid. Uh, so that's, that's really, and I, w I was reading about it, and once you read about it, it's, it's such a different approach, but once you read about it, it makes all kinds of sense. And you're not, you're not replacing filters. What you're doing is you're adding something to the system to extend the life of existing equipment. Precisely. So you know that most mobile equipment has already a pre-filter. So that system is there just to remove the coarsest spotters, to send it back to the environment. It makes that even the finest powder can go, can go into the filter and then into an engine and everything like this. While Epura is a pre-filter again, so we remove what was previously installed uh, after market. We put our system and we leave the rest of the machine completely unchanged. So it's a pre-filter that doesn't modify the machine in any point. Yeah. CIM is Canada's leading technical institute dedicated to the sustainability of our industry. Members enjoy professional growth opportunities through CIM libraries, publications, webinars, societies, and the job board. Experience the CIM community firsthand at the Conference of Metallurgists, August 19th to 22nd, ICARD, September 16th to 20th, and the CIM Health and Safety Conference, October 6th to 8th. Visit CIM.org for more information and join CIM today. Use drone data to map, measure, and manage your work sites with survey grade accuracy. Propeller transforms your photogrammetry and LIDAR surveys into a realistic, interactive 3D map. That map is where collaboration happens and accuracy wins every time. It's a cloud-based workspace for project teams to measure and manage their reality in real time from any device. With survey data designs, measurements, and media in one place, the right data is always ready to go. It's time to replace rework with great work and make great work the status quo. Visit propellerarrow.com to learn more. So it, so we're at a mining conference and we're talking about mining. I'm not sure how broad the, because there's lots of applications for this beyond just, beyond just mining. Oh yes, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, at first, we thought of Epura mainly for mobile equipment. So diesel engines, cabins, and that kind of things. As time passed, we realized that it's not only engines or cabins that requires fresh air. So in mining, you can consider, for example, uh, electrical cabinets, uh, lunchrooms, uh, sub electrical substation, Oyster and all sorts of applications. Uh, 
places uh, places within mills. I'm just thinking of, of dusty areas in general. Absolutely, dusty or yeah. gas loaded because yeah. you can also filter gas with our system with a little add-on. So. Yeah, I remember doing some shot creating in a in a crusher station and and the the dust filtration system didn't do too well. With the shot <laughs> no <cream>. doubt. <laughs> anyway, I digress. But so we talked about how it worked. Uh, you touch briefly on the installation, but can you can you so I want to put the Pura on my pit truck. So what's what's the installation process? Uh, do you guys come in do it? Do you coach the, the so owner? Or? We're working uh, mostly with distributors. So we are, as I said, a small company out of Shikutsumi. So we're working with distributors and then expanding to new markets to find new distributors and such. But the system is pretty simple to install. So it's basically a filter that is installed before the OEM filter. So you can just imagine a bracket with the system mounted on it, then two wires running to the ignition of the, of the equipment, and then the display inside of the cabin. So a mechanic that wants to install a system like this on his loader, for instance, will require three to four wires probably, and then you just never touch it again. Okay, so the, the owner, the, the end owner of the equipment could install it? Absolutely. Or the OEM, if the owner had spec'd it and said, we want this, they'd yeah, Come and exactly. buy it from a distributor. Got it. So you're, and so you've developed it and you've patented it. And do you, does your group manufacture it? More or less. Yeah. So we're working with uh, with a partner. Or yes, sub, with partners, so local uh, yeah. manufacturers. So uh, welders, weld shop, and that kind of things. And then we assemble everything in the house. We do the quality control uh, certification if need be, and then we we manage that product as a commodity almost. But it's not managed and it's not kind of manufactured in house. Yeah. So there's a lot. We're, we'll get into some of the benefits. You know, I sell. I'm I'm not selling this, but I sound like a, you know, doing a sales pitch on it. But I think it's an exciting product. Uh, we talked about installation, uh, return on investment. Yeah. I saw this on the website. There's a, a short payback period. Yes, exactly. So our system is extremely effective. It will improve efficiency a lot but the purchase price is higher than what else is available on the market. The difference is that for a customer that changes filters every now and then that has fine dust getting into the internal of the engines or just have to stop every now and then to change the filters so they will lose productivity. That's why our system pays itself so fast. So we're talking about for a good application, five to six months okay. of return so, on investment. So by eliminating downtime, but in addition to that, it's, uh, I'm I'm picturing that it it would help engine life. Absolutely. Yeah. I'm going to get into safety and environment yeah. in a minute. <laughs> no problem. But uh, but uh, the the mechanical benefits. I mean, there's the engine, uh, the the downtime on equipment, the the labor, not just downtime that the equipment isn't running, but the labor required to remove filters, and then the cost of new filters, or whatever's done. So all these things start to add up. All these things start to add up. And also what we, something we have to keep in mind is that an engine will be very efficient within some parameters. So if your filter is as a high restriction to hair, the engine will have to work harder to get the same output. So when we lower the restriction, the engine runs uh, smoothly within the parameter. So it will save uh, gas, uh, fuel consumption yeah. as well. So here, and I didn't see this on the website, but I, I just thought of it. So I'm, I'm operating a pit, and we're we don't have a lot of water, right? And traditionally, you'd water down the roads, but like if it's dustier, but I've got a, a more robust filtration system, can I can I save some water in my pit? Probably yes, absolutely. <laughs> so depending obviously on the standards that you have to follow, but if you were putting water to remove dust from the environment because the filters were clogged. That's definitely something we can Okay, yeah, 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 no. So I wanted to get to, to safety and the environment. And uh, let's start with safety because, we, you know, there, there's something that seems very self-evident here. If you can control the dust that comes into the engine, that's going to improve performance. But you've got a couple other... Uh, products as well. Uh, there's one for the for the operator's cab. Is yes, that, correct. So, so tell us about that. Excellent. So it's basically the same system. 
a very high efficiency filter. We're talking above 99.7% for powders above 0.3 microns. So that filter can be installed either on the engine or the cabin. The difference between the two is that the cabin has a pressure blower uh, after the filter. So what you want to do with cabins is to keep a positive pressure inside of the cabin. So you want to send, as, to send the required fresh air constantly to get a positive pressure that will keep dust outside. So it means that the operator will work uh, all year long uh, in perfect comfort. So it will be warm in winter and cold and fresh in summer. So that's what we want to, uh, yeah. to propose to customers. Yeah. yeah. So, so that, that's a health benefit. Uh, that's an employee morale benefit. I, I picture as an operator, uh, you're in a better work environment. And there's a couple of, uh, couple of things that happen from an environmental standpoint too. And I, I'll let you tell me, tell me about that. Excellent. So when you consider the whole life cycle of a filter, it starts from procurement, it gets on site, it must be storage. That's all something that every company is uh, able to do and use to do. What we change now is that when we get that system installed on, for example, a wheel loader, you can completely forget about your air filter. So you will stop um, down, having downtime to change the filters and then dispose those filters. So if you have to change the filters every two days, for example, that means that you need to send that filter to trash every two days. If the filter is uh, not as effective as ours, it means that the finest dust will reach the engine oil. So if you change the oil every 150 hours instead of 400 hours, it means that you need to dispose and eventually burn that oil yeah. three times more often. Yeah. So you got oil, we all, we all know that's bad news trying to get rid of that. Yeah. Uh, filters aren't necessarily recyclable either. That's exactly. Because they're, they're, they're makeup. And, and then the, the other impact is efficient, engine efficiency, yeah. right? Exactly. So you know when the manufacturer will design uh, an engine and then install it in the mobile equipment for a certain type of application, they will know exactly what kind of horsepower or torque they need. So if that engine operates in a high dust environment, you can consider that the airflow will be restricted, so the air to fuel ratio will be all messed up as well. Yeah. So and that's so something the, that we the help. productivity begins to tail off exactly. as, as things get clogged up. Right? Yes, exactly. That's layman's layman's analysis there. Uh -huh. So so the like an, an ultra filtration or a self cleaning filter system helps you get maximum efficiency out of your Exactly. Out of your diesel equipment. So you're burning less fuel. And so on. Per, per ton mined. Exactly. Yeah. So there, there's all of these kind of benefits here. A and we mentioned it earlier, but obvious uh, implications for, for the mining industry. But there, there's, there's other industries as well. Are, are you dealing with other groups too? Yes, totally. So as a, an enterprise from Sangne, we started working with Rio Tinto, uh, which is uh, aluminum smelters. So Rio Tinto is in mining a lot. But before that, it was Hadcan in our is, region. Is, is this their IOC? It's not operation? IOC. It's, not uh, IOC. The, it's aluminum the, the aluminum operation. Yeah. Okay, so got it. So Canada is the second or third uh, largest aluminum manufacturer or exporter. And most of it comes from our region. So every enterprise in our region knows a lot about aluminum and started with this. So we started in the smelters and in port operation. And we expanded slowly to forestry, uh, agricultural, mining, civil construction, uh, stone quarries and everything that really focus on either or and or the workers health or production efficiency so the the other thing that's interesting about your product when i think about filtration and, and we've gone through this if uh if i'm in an uh, iron ore mine i'm dealing with one type of dust okay if i'm in a salt mine totally it's a different, different uh, ile de madeleine it's a different type of dust uh, if I'm in the potash operations, but this technology is different. It's not, uh, I don't think it's material specific, is it? You are totally right. Oh. So what we did while um, creating Epura is that we have a very nice uh, simulator that we can do a lot of tests. So during the first years of development, we said to the customers, and you said potash, it's an excellent example. We said, you know that we're not used to that kind of material please send us two five-gallon pails so we can test inside of our simulator. 
So with years, we've, we've been through many, many types of dust. We made a lot of tests, a lot of reports, and we really found the perfect recipe to clean the filters in any type of application. So now we're on first tree in cement, potash, uh, yeah. wood dust, uh, anything like this. Because yeah. the, the specific type of filter, you know, if, if you know your product, you're buying a filter that will filter that. Yeah, exactly. But your product goes on top or around, so it's the filter that has to uh, be uh, a match to the product, but you're doing something different, so you don't need to, but the testing is proves what, uh, what exactly. it can do. And we, we played it safe because, as I said, the, the inventor was very knowledgeable about dust collectors applications. So we selected the perfect media for our application. So it's a media that is used in dust collecting. So very high velocity, high temperature, extreme dust content, and send it to the mobile equipment. So that filter could withstand the worst application possible, but now it's on a wheel loader. So that's why we have so much longevity and that it can work in any, si any yeah. type of application. Okay. Yeah. So, so when did this, uh, I didn't read far enough to, to know, when did this product hit the market? Because this, this is new. Yes, this is new. So we started development in 2016, and the first one were installed in 2019. So now five years going okay. to six. Yeah. yeah. And constantly expanding into uh, yeah. different applications. Okay. I'm just, I'm just going to ask you, we, we've covered a fair bit, and, and if I remember correctly, there were, there were three products. So there's, there's a Pura for the equipment. There's a Pura cab or cabin. And, and there was a, a third one. Uh, well, as I said, it's always the same, uh, the same system, same, the same technology. same technology. Yeah, the same patent technology, different applications. Different applications. So okay. at some point, we realized that anything that requires fresh air, we will deliver it to uh, around piping. Okay. Just do whatever you want yeah. with that. After, yeah. So it's uh, always, always the same system, a Pura, yeah. that can be mounted uh, on engine, um, cabins, PLCs, electronic boards, anything that requires fresh okay. air. So, so now do you look, be, we've talked about uh, mobile equipment to some extent, but, you know, I'm, there, there's stationary equipment that's, and I'm not talking about pens and paper, <laughs> I'm talking about big uh, filter systems in, in mills. The building we're in yeah, probably exactly. has a huge filtration system. So is that the next step or are you working on that? It is indeed the, same, the next step yeah. and that will... Um, reply in two aspects. So it's fun because the, requir the request came from customers actually. They said, I love your system on my mobile equipment, but I have a lunch room, could you do something? So that's what brings us to HVAC systems. The difference between our system and HVAC, airflow and pressure. So we work with lower airflow, but higher pressure, thanks to how we build our system. So if we need to move to HVAC, we require massive blowers, for example. So what we do is that we work in parallel with those systems. So imagine a lunchroom with the AC system in the dusty environment. What we do is that we will send fresh air in the lunchroom with our system, and the AC system will just recirculate. So that way, all the internals of that HVAC system remains untouched and clean while we put uh, fresh air inside of yeah. the cabin. So you've still got any type of filtration system that was originally designed, yes, but right. it's seeing far less Exactly. Work and far less dust. So instead of changing your AC units every yeah. two seasons, yeah. you'll just keep on moving and keep on yeah. working with it. I, I find this very interesting. It's just a, a, a totally different framing a, a problem differently and coming up with a, a very interesting technical solution. So, Jonathan, is, is there anything, some final comments for our audience, something you want to leave the audience with? Absolutely. So... Our system was originally designed for uptime efficiency. Uh, recently, we received a, a call from a customer that works in, the, I will say, an extreme environment. Those guys has to stop every two hours. The, the cabin were full of dust. It was super complicated. And the hygiene guy called, called us and says, you know what, since we install your systems, our workers are working in a safe environment. So they're no longer exposed to silica. That was like, guys, we did it. <laughs> we, we changed someone's life for real. Now they're not uh, working in an environment that will make them sick on the long term. So that was a huge success and pushed us to keep on working on that system. So now we can help mining with ISO 23875 standard to get their uh, 
the cabins up to the standard. We can do that in Quebec with the silica uh, standard as well. So we are super proud of our system and just give us a chance to demonstrate how it works. And it will fit on your application and it will change, it will change your life, <laughs> basically. Well, that, that's, a, that's a great final thought. I'm a, <laughs> I'm a safety proponent and, and ending on a safety note, that, that's great. And so to our audience, thank you very much for joining us on another edition of Mining Now. A very interesting edition with a, a unique and innovative company, Propulsa Innovation, and we've been talking with Jonathan Levesque. And Jonathan, thank you. Thank you very much, Ray. <laughs>